is up you guys welcome back to the motorhead youtube channel in today's video we're back to work on the cls 63 amg and man we are just knocking this thing out we're trying to get it done as fast as possible because birdie is just he's just ready to whip his dream car so we're going to get right into it we want to get this car painted and we need to get it prepped we gave this primer two days to dry so it's fully cured we got some guide coat on it so it's literally ready for a wet sand so we got some warm water because it is pretty cold. It actually snowed last night and we got some warm water. We're ready to start wet sanding it. We're going to hit it with the 400 and get it all sanded down. And then we'll scuff the areas for a blend. And then also we're going to need to sand the roof because he does want the roof black. We're going to do black and red. You know, we don't want any chrome on it. All the chrome is going to go black and the roof's going to go black and it's going to look absolutely amazing. It's going to really tie in with all the carbon bits that are going on it. So let's get straight into this episode. Okay, so the quarter panel is sanded. It's looking great. And now what we wanna do is scuff the areas for blend. We're going to scuff that door right there. And we're going to scuff that quarter panel because we are going to be blending it. We want it to be a perfect match because it is an expensive vehicle. So we're gonna get onto that. And then next, Vlad actually came up with a great idea. We do wanna blend this trunk also because we want everything to match perfectly. It's just, you're going to regret it later when you're already painting. Cause if you don't paint it and it doesn't match, you have to repaint both panels, not just one. So we need to trim all this area out right here, which means we need to seam seal it and get it all ready. So we'll do that once we get all that done. So let's get all this sanded for blend and then we'll get onto this. All right, so now that I got that door done, I'm going to start on the quarter panel. I need to remove this headlight. It is broken anyways. We do have another one, but we need to sand it. That way the paint can wrap around this edge. And we decided we're going to just clear coat this entire pillar. That way we don't have to buff it and have a hard line. So I need to take off this right here so the paint can go around this edge and take this off right here so the paint can go around that edge. And it's just gonna be perfect, nice finish. So let's get all this off and then get it sanded. Hey guys, so I got this quarter panel nice and sanded. It's ready for a blend. Might have to sand this scratch out a little more. Uh, V-tuned actually showed up, so what do you think? You ready to throw that seam sewer down? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and seam everything up. Dang, this quarter panel turned out good though. Yeah, dude, you did an awesome job on it. it turned out beautiful. Yeah, hopefully uh, in the next, 23rd Garage is actually using the booth tomorrow, so we'll have to paint it the day after tomorrow. So that's fine, because he can throw the seam sewer down and then we can trim all this out and it'll have what plenty kind of time of to dry. Sewer? What kind of seam sewer do you uh, High tech from CarQuest. High tech right here. Yeah, so we're gonna get this seamed up and we'll go from there.
Okay guys, so it is the next day here. Uh, I gave everything 24 hours to dry so it fully cure. Ben got the seam sealer down, everything got seamed up nicely and I sanded it down and I primed everything again. I wasn't exactly 100% satisfied with this quarter panel, but now it's literally looking perfect and I can't wait to get it painted. We can't paint it today because 23rd Garage is using the booth, but that's fine because for now I wanna focus on this area. I want to trim it all out. That way we can put this trunk back on because we do wanna blend the trunk obviously and so we need to get all of this painted right here, this whole area. I wanna paint all up through here and paint this little bucket right here. And then we'll probably tape it along this line when we're painting it, taping it for paint. And as you can see, I do need to paint up inside here because it's all primed. And also all these welds, they need to be sanded down and etch primed. And then it will be ready to paint and we'll throw some color over it and get it all sealed. Same thing inside here where Obviously where it was all welded on the back, it burns through and it needs to be sanded because that will rust and you just wanna do everything properly. So for now, I think I'll just go ahead and wet sand this. You guys already seen that, so I'm not going to record it. And then once that's wet sanded, I can take all this off because I won't have to worry about getting anything inside the car. We do want it to be sealed off from the elements. So I'm gonna get this sanded and then we'll get on to painting all that stuff inside there. And just like that guys, quarter panel sanded. All of this is sanded. Uh, I went ahead and threw some etch primer on this exposed metal. Obviously first I sanded down the welds to make sure they're good. And I seamed up this crack right here. Just need to clean off all this excess. Let that dry and then we're going to seal everything up, get it painted, get all this painted. And also up inside here, as you can see, I sanded all this. So once this dries, we're gonna get it all set up and get it painted. All right guys, so we got it all painted. We got the base coat laid down. Everything's looking very great. We're ready to start clear coating it. We actually changed our mind. Uh, Paul this, Paul's actually going to paint this car and he suggested that we just go ahead and paint all this and he can tape it up where there won't be a line. Plus this car already has lines on all the other door jams because the whole car was repainted. But we're gonna do it very nicely and so we're ready to clear. That way we can put this door back on and we don't have to worry about the color not matching. We can do a perfect match with this door because they're gonna be side by side. So let's go ahead and start clear coating this.
Okay, guys, so I just talked to Paul, and unfortunately, he does need the paint booth tomorrow also because he does have a car that's been sitting here for a while, and he just needs to get it out of here, which is fine, honestly, because we do want to give this time to cure, so two days is going to be perfect because we will be taping up onto it. Like, for instance, when we put the trunk on, we're going to have tape in there, and I want it to be fully dry before we put any tape on anything, so that's fine. We're not really worried about it. We're not in a rush on that, so I figured this is a perfect opportunity to get started on the front end. The front bumper does have some damage right here. And also underneath, it's just all scraped up everywhere. And we just, we wanna fix it completely. So we need to take this front bumper off and we're going to sand it and prime the entire under section. All right guys, so this bumper was very complicated. There's a lot of bits and pieces to it. It was definitely worked on before because could, I could see everything was tampered with. A couple of things were broken, so we're gonna have to fix it when we put it back together. But this is the damage I was talking about. As you can see, it's all scratched up. And if you look at this bottom, this whole bottom is just destroyed. Whoever was driving it before didn't know how to pull out of places and go in sideways, obviously. They were just scraping the bottom of this thing. So we're gonna 180 all this, get it nice and smooth. And then I'm going to tape it off like this on both sides and just prime the bottom. That way no overspray gets onto the top here because we want our paint to match. And obviously we don't want to throw any paint right here where it's going to butt into those panels. So let's get this prepped and then we'll get it primed. And we could probably paint this tomorrow after we pull that Subaru out. So let's get it ready. Okay guys, so I went ahead and sanded everything down and next step, I'm probably going to weld up these holes right here. I already talked to Birdie and he doesn't want to put a lip on it. He just couldn't find one that he likes. So we're just going to weld these up right here. I got me a piece of a different bumper and we'll weld them up. And then I got some special Bondo that's actually four plastic bumpers and we'll use it to fill in all these scratches and get this thing primed. Okay guys, so I got them all welded up. I'm going to sand them down with the 80, that way we can feather it in. I'll use this right here, it's bumper bite. It's for plastic surfaces and it's very nice and it's flexible and it's gonna be perfect for this underside right here. So let's get all this uh, sanded down and then we'll throw this down, get it that sanded and prime it.
All right, guys, just like that, the bumper is completed and we can wait 24 hours and it'll cure 100%. Unfortunately, Paul needs the booth, but that's just fine because it gives it more time to cure and just, you know, we don't want no mistakes because we're so close to the finish line, guys. In the next episode, we're going to get this whole car painted. We're going to get the bumper painted and it's going to look absolutely amazing. I can't wait because then it's just a matter of putting it together and putting mods on it. You know, we got a lot of stuff coming for it. As you guys know, all the carbon goodies. And we also reached out to a company about a whole exhaust system with downpipes. So that's going to be pretty exciting too, guys. We also got intakes on the way from a company we're working with. They're called Black Boost USA, and they're super dope. They got our engravings, Motorhead Co., and handcrafted for Albert. It's really awesome, so stay tuned, guys. They're gonna come Saturday, and we're gonna put a segment into the video installing those intakes, so it's gonna be very exciting. I'm really excited with the progress of this build, guys. It is just absolutely getting knocked out, and it's gonna be done real soon. And I know you guys are enjoying the AMG content, so stay tuned. We got another sick build for you guys, and it'll probably be here tomorrow, I believe, if the weather's good. The weather's been kind of icing. We've had trouble getting it delivered, but it's gonna be an absolutely epic build, and I know you guys enjoyed this one, so stay tuned. If you want the inside scoop and you want to see it before YouTube, be sure to give us a follow at motorhead.co on Instagram. I'll link it down below in the description. Thanks for all the love and support, guys. And keep up the comments and let us know what you think of the build. And if you want to stick around for dope content like this, be sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on the bell so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.